Today I have an unboxing video. I was able to buy another bag during the Black Friday sale in the US. I was going through the different Instagram accounts which I follow who are resellers here in the Philippines and there were many brands who are offering big huge discount discounts during the Black Friday sale and I was able to watch one live selling that uh, from the Instagram account that I normally really uh, follow so I was able to get one actually I have a very long story for this bag but I will not deal with that I would just like to show you what this bag is is and this is a first for me um, this is my first furla bag purchase I thought that the bag was nice and colors neutral I'm going to show the unboxing of this bag and hope you continue watching Hi everyone, I am Dottie Bernas and welcome to my channel. I do bag reviews, I do unboxing videos and haul videos and please do consider subscribing to my channel and click that notification bell so you would know when I have new videos. Okay, so this is the bag. Um, came in this uh, packaging. I actually bought two bags from this account and I normally I done several purchases from this Instagram account already so but at this time it, it was not such a pleasant experience for me uh, one thing I've noticed about these um, Instagram or uh, reseller accounts um, because when they already have many followers and many us um, buyers they aren't able to control already or manage already their buyers and so the process of buying from them gets to be very stressful as was this experience uh, from buying this bag i was following up i bought these i am i did watch the online selling i think it was in november first or second week of november and then I ins when I, they asked for payment, I paid immediately because they were already in the store and they wouldn't want to really buy if you haven't paid yet. And then weeks after, uh, December already, and I kept following up, followed up several times and no reply. So I it was not um, a really good experience. And... Uh, I, I actually paid for two bags and this is the only bag uh, that I got. I think they may misplaced the other one. So I just uh, asked ask for a refund. So hopefully, hopefully these uh, resellers are able to really uh, understand also why buyers become frustrated when, you know, they don't get replies when you you are following up. Okay, so this one is a, a furla bag. This is the there were two sizes of this: a small, um, a small one and a large one. The large one was like a tote, and this one is like a satchel type, so something to carry from the hand. So, um, okay. I actually don't know what the bag is called. There were many, many bags that were being sold at a discount. And the reason I got these was because I know furla bags are really much, much more uh, pricey than compared with Kate, Kate Spade, Michael Kors. Um, I think the price is comparable with uh, Coach bags. But this one, when they were... Uh, well, I was watching online the prices was really very low I, I thought because I also saw the prices of these bags in uh, physical stores here so I thought that I was getting a really good deal from buying through these uh, in Instagram accounts so this one is called the Okay, so it, the name is Vittoria. I'm not really familiar with Furla bag, so uh, see, it says here it's uh, Vittoria. The color is cognac, and the retail price is uh, I don't know if you can see there 
the retail price is 358 358 dollars and I got these for only eleven thousand pesos eleven thousand pesos or at, at the time the the, the 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 peso against the dollar is very low so maybe this is uh, around 200 a little less than 200 usd equivalent yeah so let's open this one mm, again might be uh, deceived by the size of this bag because i didn't think that it was this small when I was buying it. I thought about it was bigger. It's a problem with buying online. You get, don't get to really see the actual, the actual, actual size of the bag. Yeah, it's open, so it has. It came with this dust. At least it has a dust ba bag. Sometimes um, there's no dust bag. So what happened to this one was, um, okay. oh my goodness, it's very small, it's really very small, I didn't think that it was this small, mm -hmm. not quite happy with how small it is, <laughs> I was not very happy with the color, oh. So this is the tag and this is the, it's very small, I don't know if, yeah, so it's color cognac and I think in the camera it looks a bright, bright, a little a br bright, it looks bright but actually the color is very brown dark brown I think it's dark brown so it's very simple this is normally like my 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 type of bag if you've seen my channel and the different um, bags that I have it looks almost the same as this one so I have to be very honest. I'm really not happy with how big this turned out to be when I was <laughs> buying online. It, was, it, was, it didn't really look this small. I don't know if had I known that it was this small, I wouldn't have gotten it. <sighs> okay, so yeah, so let's take out first the stockings. I don't know. Might be selling this bag sooner. If someone would be interested, because it's so small. <laughs> All right, let's open first. Okay. And this is it. That's how it looks like because I was buying this online I didn't really get to check like what is the dimension of this bag what is the width and what is the the height so I'm maybe I'm going to compare it with my medium bags if they are almost the same size it doesn't say the size the tag doesn't really mention the size whether it's small or whether it's small or medium or large but during the live selling there were two types of this one a large one with this is, which is a tote a tote bag which you can carry through your shoulder and just this one so this one is uh, such a type and even this one is really very like yeah short i think other than the size, I think that the quality of the bag is really good. The leather is really good. 
and furla bags are really known for their very nice and very good leathers so let me show you how it looks like so this is how the bag looks inside it has a middle it has a middle compartment here zipped middle compartment and there's also a zipper pocket inside the middle compartment there's a another pocket here outside the middle compartment and just two separate ones okay and okay this has no shoulder handle just really this one and yeah that's it that's how it looks like there's this mug and you can close it through this um snap uh closure there's a snap closure i don't think my ipad would even my tablet would even fit this bag it's really very small oh my god <laughs> But if you look at them, I'm looking at these at the phone and the camera, it doesn't look that small. Let me compare this with um, a medium size. I think this is just a bit smaller than a medium size Michael Kors bag. Let me compare it with my medium size Michael Kors bag. Okay, so I got here my, this is my Michael Kors um, Selma in the medium size, which is my favorite bag. I have been using this like crazy. <laughs> and this is how it compares. So, so, yeah, it's almost it's the same size as the medium sized Selma. And the height is also almost the same. But I think the Selma, in terms of width, is bigger. Here. It does still look smaller than the than the Michael Kors Selma. Okay, so that's my unboxing of these um, Furla and it's called the Vittorio Design and the color is uh, Cognac and yeah, this is it. Um, hope you <laughs> Hope you like this video and thank you for watching. See you again in my next video. Don't forget to, to subscribe and click that notification bell so you would know when I have new video. And my next, I want you to have a peek of my next video. It's this one. So this is another one from my Teresa. So that's going to be uh, my next video. So um, see you in my see you in my next video. Have a good day.